interested in the way how we turn this to this, all you need to do is to watch this video until the end. Hello and welcome to Sour Chocolate. I am going to treat you and of course myself with this amazing and delicious recipe. What I need for it is a filo pastry, butter or ghee, pistachio, a cup of both of them and I'm using a ghee, of course you can use your butter or anything you would like. And for the filling, the cream, I'm using 4 liters of whole milk, 400 grams of Cornish clotted cream and a third cup of vinegar. Yes, I'm not crazy. I said vinegar. I will show you in a minute what I'll do with it. For the syrup, I need a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, a little squeeze of lemon juice and a rose water. Let's prepare our cream or as we called it, ishta. So if you were in the Middle East and you would like to flirt with someone, you could call him or her ishta. And this is must be the eighth one of the seven wonders of the world. <laughs> Okay, I put my milk in my, uh, um, um, honestly, I don't know what it's called in English, so please tell me in the comments. I will stick with my tangera. I'll put it on my tangera and I will put it on a medium heat for 45 minutes until they be like this. In this stage, I will add my vinegar. The vinegar will turn the milk from a milk to a cream. Look at this cream on the top of the milk. It's after five minutes after I put my vinegar on it. Now I need to separate the cream from the, the milk. Uh oh, okay, please act as you haven't seen anything. I separate the cream from the milk and I need to let it cool for around 30 minutes. After it's been cold, I'm gonna to put all this cream. Um, I'm going to put on it my clotted cream and mix them together really really well. Our star is ready, we need to put it in the fridge while we finish. Now let's make the syrup. I put the sugar and the water. I put it on a medium heat. I will squeeze a little little bit like a teaspoon of lemon juice and I will let it for 15 minutes. And this is what it looks like after 15 minutes. So we need to let it cold, okay? And that's what it looks like after it's getting cold. Let's work now on our filo pastry. You need to treat it really, really gentle as you treat your woman. <laughs> I will take the rub off. Look, because it's really really thin, any wrong move it's gonna to tear. So you have to really watch out when you are using it. I put my ghee in the microwave and let it melt for 15 seconds. And now I'm going to take my first sheet of the dough, brush it with the ghee really really well. It's, you need to put a good amount of the ghee on the sheet. And after it, I will put another sheet on top of this sheet and brush it with the ghee. And I will repeat that for 10 sheets. Now I have 10 sheets brushed with the ghee ready. I'm going to cut them. Yes, please do. Cut them with a pizza cutter. That will make it really, really easy. I will cut them for a medium squares just in the way in the videos and yes believe me please use a pizza cutter to cut them now let's make them in a triangle shape just like the way in the video they will be too easy to open and super crunchy for this side they weren't a perfect squares so i just cut them so that will be so easy to make them a triangles and don't throw this extra pieces away put them with the other and i'm going to tell you a secret you can eat them directly after they come up from the oven they will be so delicious now let's put them in the oven for 15 minutes no more than this on 180 degrees let's have some fun it's my favorite part Honestly, it's my second favorite part because my favorite part is when I'm going to eat it. So, 
Let's put the pistachio in a bag and...